What's up guys, Keith Kelfus, Landscaping Employee Trap. This video is specifically geared towards the new guy who's trying to get his lawn care landscape business or any small business off the ground. If you've already got like five crews in a big company and make half a million a year, this video is not for you and you probably won't get any value out of it. So if this video is for you and you're the newbie guy, keep watching. Listen, have you ever had this conversation with somebody you know? What? You don't have general liability insurance? Oh my God, you're gonna get sued. You're gonna lose everything. You gotta get general liability insurance. And they start shaming you. And you're like, dude, I don't have that yet. I can't afford that. I've got money problems. I'm just trying to keep my lights on. I'm trying to get my rent paid. I just got my wife screaming at me because the rent's due, right? You can't afford that right now. What? You don't have an LLC? You're not an S or a C corporation. You're like, I don't even really know what that is, but I know I'm supposed to have it and I can't afford it, right? You can't afford that stuff yet because you're trying to get a business off the ground. There's a million things you don't know. What? You're not putting one third away for taxes? Oh my God, the IRS is gonna show up in suits. They're gonna handcuff you and take you away. You're gonna lose everything, right? There's a million things you don't know when you're getting a business off the ground and you don't have Mr. Successful Entrepreneur, Successful Landscape Guy. Come here, Johnny. I will teach you everything I know. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen to you. It didn't happen to me. Okay? I've slept in my car. I was a broke landscape employee who got fired and I got a business off the ground from scratch and had to literally teach myself how to do it through pain and frustration and all types of stuff. So... In this video, I'm not gonna be giving you the nuts and bolts like, okay, you file this paperwork, then you put this in a manila folder, and then you charge 89.3 cents per this, and blah, 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 blah. Like, nuts and bolts are great, but we're emotional beings. We're, we're trying to be men here and get things done, and we're going through all these ups and downs and turbulences, and it's very vulnerable getting a business off the ground. When you don't know what to charge and you don't know how to bill and hourly rates and labor man hours and all this and insurance and workman's compensation and all that stuff is like, whoa, you can't learn all that overnight. And I want to let you know, it's okay. It's totally okay. So take a breath. <sighs> Relax. You're going to go out there and work hard. You're going to get it done. You're going to make money. You're going to eventually... Hopefully quicker, sooner than later, you're going to get your LLC. You're going to realize it's a little bit of paperwork. But how, how do I get that done? I don't have an accountant. I'm blah, 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 right? If you don't have an LLC or a corporation, you'd even know what that stuff is. But you know you got to have it. And you can't even afford it. Ask the people that you already know who that own small businesses. Maybe you got an uncle. Or you know Joe Blow who owns a local shop. Go up to him and say, hey man, I'm eager to get my business off the ground and I want to learn about this stuff. Do you know an accountant or somebody who can coach me through it? They'll be like, how come you didn't ask before, right? The quality of questions that you start asking in life is directly co correlated to the amount of answers you're going to get. If you're asking where can you get a bag of weed, you're going to find it, right? Where's the local party? You're going to find it. Where can I find an accountant who can teach me how to get my paperwork going? Huh, you're going to find it. Whatever you ask for, you're going to find it. So you go sit down with the accountant for the first time. You're sitting there biting your nails. Oh my God, this guy's going to, oh my God, he's going to call the IRS on me. <laughs> like, it's not going to happen. A couple hundred bucks. If you don't have it, don't worry. Save for it. Slowly lean into that direction. You do the paperwork. You get it. Lickety split. You walk into the bank, you say, Hi, my name's Joe Blow. I want to start a small business. Here's my paperwork. They set you up with a small business account. And then when you get checks from customers, you put it into that account. What? You're not putting a third away for taxes? You're going to have to do that. But if you're not charging your customers enough and you're terrified, you won't even be able to afford to pay taxes. It's okay. You can write a whole bunch of stuff off your first three to five years in business and barely pay any taxes at all, okay? But what? 
You're not recording all of your mileage and saving all your receipts and stapling to them your work orders and you have a perfectly organized file cabinet with manila folders all tracked, everything you do every day. You don't have time to do all that stuff. Why? Because you're probably working a day job and running your butt off at night trying to get a business off the ground. Whatever you're doing, there's no way you're that organized that fast. And if you are that organized right off bat, then you're like gifted or something. Because in my life, I know successful entrepreneurs who are totally unorganized still trying to get it together. So don't be so hard on yourself and think you gotta do it overnight, because you don't. It all comes in time. It all comes in time. You can totally do this. I wanna let you know, if you got arms and legs and fingers and toes, and th th there's, there's people watching YouTube right now, I know I'm jumping around a bit, because I'm impulsive about these videos. <laughs> But there's people in wheelchairs right now. There's people who've got, you know, things going on where they can't get out and work. And I have to remind myself of that too sometimes. I call my buddy William who coaches me. He's the guy who teaches me how to do tree work. Good friend of mine. He's like, do you got to stop being so hard on yourself? There's people who can't work. Look at what you have. No, I'm telling you, look at what you have and realize that you can do this. If a thousand other people and a million other people are gonna start a small business, they're not smarter than you. They don't have gifted DNA, right? They figured it out. You can figure it out if you really, really want it. Now raise the prices on your customers so you can afford to do this. What? Yes, my second, third, and fourth year in business, I kept having to raise prices on all my new customers and I was terrified I wouldn't get any work. How do you know if your prices are too high or too low? Right? If you're getting about five out of 10 quotes, you're probably really good with your prices, that you're, you're good. If you start only getting like two out of 10, you know, jobs that you quote, your prices are too high. If you're getting every single job that you quote, you're not just a really nice guy. Your prices are way too freaking low. But if you don't have any work, you gotta undercut, you gotta charge low to get your foot in the door, to generate as much activity in the business as possible. It's called throw mud at the wall and see what sticks. And whatever sticks, work with that, and then grow that. So, this is what you're gonna do. If you don't have an LLC, a limited liability corporation, what that is, and under maritime, ad maritime admiralty law is basically, it's some paperwork that protects you. It creates a separate entity that is a business, so if something happens, the business goes down and not you. So, a couple hundred bucks, some paperwork, you get that going. You start a bank account with a small business bank, you start all the checks, not personally to you anymore, because you can't be doing that. I did that too, and I was like, oh, to the business. So they go through the business account, you get your general liability insurance next, if you can't afford it right away, don't worry, and don't be doing any crazy work that's gonna hurt or you know damage your customer's property. Dude, it's like a thousand bucks a year or 800 bucks a year, it's cheap. I got mine with no money down, and I think I paid 50 or 60 a month. I was so confident by the time I got my general liability policy, I was like, you know, I'm licensed and insured. It makes you feel good, and you start making more money, you show it to customers when they ask for it, and now you can charge more because you have insurance and the other guy doesn't, right? It pays itself off right away. Everything that you do that grows your business is an investment in your business and an investment in yourself. The more confident you get in business and the more you learn the ropes and the ins and outs, just by going out and doing the thing is the more money you're going to make and the more you're going to be able to do it. Putting a third away for taxes. Yes, 30% is the magic number. At first, I was terrified about all the things I'm talking about right now. That's why I'm telling you right now, this was like defense mechanism mode to me. When someone said, you're not putting 30% away for taxes? Oh my God. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> right? I was terrified, but I learned when you say, this is no longer, it, no longer a should, it's a must. When it becomes a must, you get, you become a financial connoisseur. You become someone who's so diligent about your finances because you've been down that path before. You've been through hell and you can't go through it anymore in your life and you do whatever it takes to get it done. And now all the money that comes in, I'm putting away more than 30%. We're living like cockroaches and <laughs> I'm putting my peanuts away because I understand emergencies will come. Like there's no ship coming in to save you. So... 
I'm always ranting, man. I'm sorry, I'm not the nuts and bolts guy. I, I'm just, I know people on drugs and alcoholics. I know people who have taken their own lives. We live in the real world, okay? So college is great. You can go to college for small business and learn a lot, but when you get into the real world, you're dealing with real things. You're coming home and, and, and your wife or your girlfriend's screaming at you because there's no food in the fridge and your baby's crying and you're stressed out, getting no sleep and you got bags in your eyes and you're trying to get a business on the ground, off the ground on top of that. I mean, you could go through hell. You could be going through hell right now and I want to encourage you from the bottom of my heart that you can do it. You could totally do it. If a million other people can do it, you can do it as well. Go out, be fired up, watch some motivational videos, not too much, and thank you. Bye.